My name is Blake Edmonds with a restaurant in Denver called Senor Bear. I'm down here visiting the city of Austin, learning the city and its food culture and music scene from a local's perspective. I am Tavel Bristol Joseph. I'm a pastry chef and one of the owners here at Emmer and Rye. We're gonna visit some of my favorite spots here in Austin. Places that I feel make Austin a special place to visit. So here we go. See, I told you, way better than I know this shit. What is the best representation of food in Texas? It's time for barbecue. Yeah, eat some brisket, baby. There we go. All right, so this is Valentina's. This is my boy Miguel's spot. Then we gotta charge him double. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> They're known for their amazing Tex-Mex barbecue. All right, guys, here we go. I don't wow. think you brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like fifth generation Mexican-American. I feel this is a true representation of Tejano and Texas food and how we grew up at home eating. I try and say traditional to the method of Texas barbecue, a long cook, offset pits, you know. Mm. I use 100% mesquite wood though, which not many people are doing. They do a fantastic job on the tacos here. The brisket taco would be like an essential representation of what Valentina's is. And you try and keep it as simple as possible. You have the nice fresh flour tortilla, our sliced brisket. Mm -hmm. We take an avocado, smash it, a little bit of salt on it, and that's it. Let the meat shine, right? Yeah, man. It's one of the best briskets I've tried in town. It's so moist. It's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, that's yeah. what I told you. At the heart of it's Texas barbecue, you know, like techniques there, but I love the spin, your heritage there with the food. It makes it refreshing and cool and different. All right, welcome. Welcome to the Emmer and Rye. Emmer and Rye experience. <laughs> This is a perfect example of what we do at Emmer and Rye. Labno with uh, Guyanese style roti. The roti is special. That's something that my grandmother made as a kid. It's a very flaky flatbread. We make it with butter and olive oil. We also added a little bit of white sonor and wheat, some fresh milk grains in there, because that's what we do. That's what you do here, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, Dig in. You got to eat with your hands on this so one. So we're man. just tearing the bread? Just tear the bread, hot flat bread with a cold yogurt. Yeah. You get like texture, temperature, all in one. Oh man, garlicky, tart, nutty. Mm -hmm. You see touches of different cultures and cuisine and history, you know, plugged into the food that surrounds this area, so it's pretty neat. In Austin, it's kind of like a common thing where you have your really cool swanky bars and they're all put in food trucks behind it. Tycoon. These guys were one of the first that yeah. actually made that cool. These guys have won numerous awards. The first food truck voted best new restaurant, and it's just one of the staples here in Austin. Butter, my boy. <laughs> Chicken. Yeah, this is Ty, a chef that's really passionate about what his culture is and where he comes from. If you're ready for some spice, this is it. Let's do it, man. What makes Thai food special is he has no compromise on heat yeah. to obtain the flavor that he wants. You know, just cooking the food that mom made. No apologies. All right, so this is the waterfall pork. And it's one of the best dishes I think they have on the menu. The sticky rice mixed with the spicy pork. There's so much flavor, good acidity, and some serious spice here. Oh, that's a big bite uber tender for being shoulder. It's like the perfect amount of spice. I can see why this is like one of your favorite spots, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm starting to tear up a little bit. <laughs> I can see the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably gonna be the most Austin spot we're gonna stop at. It's called the White Horse. It's that in-your-face, Texas, local drinking well. People from all facets of life all hang out in the same place and just have a great time. It's what Austin is. You can pretty much go out seven nights a week in Austin and there's going to be live music playing. And that's not common in most cities. Music comes with culture and it inspires the culinary scene a lot. I've had a really cool experience today. If you're into awesome food, awesome drinks, 
really amazing people that like to share their, their city and their food culture and their music culture. You should definitely come visit Austin and just have an awesome time.